<laughs> hey, we've got a different one this week. <laughs> I'm in the beautiful Snowdonia Hills. I've come to do the OMM event. So the OMM, the original mountain marathon, is an event that's in its 54th year and I'm taking part in the medium score which is six hours on the Saturday and then we've got um, five hours the following day it's navigating by map and compass we'll get a map tomorrow with a load of points on and you've got to get to the end point by a certain time wild camp so you're carrying all your all your own gear and then same again the next day this is a, a twin event you need two people so Andy from Backpacking UK messaged me about a week and a half ago and asked if I fancy doing it with him and I agreed so zero training um, but it should be fun I'll leave a link to um, Andy's channel below anyone who's into hiking who watches me anyway I'm sure you're already aware of Andy he's brilliant I've watched him for years um, but I'm looking forward to meeting him it's about five o'clock now I'm already at the event HQ waiting for Andy to turn up he'll be about another hour so I'm gonna get to the HQ it's just behind me maybe get a beer have a nice chill out my plan is to sleep in my car tonight. I don't want to be messing around with tents um, before the start tomorrow. So as you can see, I've got my bag in there all ready for today. It's quite a big bag. I've got to carry our own gear. That's my tent box quill. I slept in there and I've just got some water boiling for some food. Posh baked beans from Firepot. I want to say a massive thank you um, to the Fell store. We uh, basically collaborating with them for this one and they provided all the food for me and Andy, which is fantastic. So I'll show you the food as we go through the trip. And I have got a 10% code as well. I'll put it below. It's not affiliated. Uh, it just means you can get 10% off store wide. Everything apart from the sales. We've got breakfast, we've got dinners, and we've got these big 1000 calorie meals as well, which are fantastic. And I've got a series of gels as well from Talk. I've got rehydration, electrolytes, powders, things like that. So yeah, we're gonna give all those a go. But for now, I'm gonna get my breakfast. And then when it gets a little bit lighter, I'll introduce you to Andy, and then I'll take you on the journey today. Right, we're just about to head to the start. Editing Chris here from the future. I just want to say I had real problems with the audio in this vlog. Somehow I had the wind noise cancellation turned off on my GoPro. Um, there was a problem with the fluffy thing I had on top. Oh, really, really annoying. I almost wasn't going to put the video out, but I have to do it. Me and Andy had a great time in this video. I hope you do enjoy it. I've subtitled it so you can hear what I'm saying. Hopefully it doesn't get too annoying the audio, but do stick with it. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's pick this back up. And look, he's finally joined me. Here he is. <laughs> so we've got a one, about a couple, one kilometre walk to the start. We'll, we can navigate to that one because there's signs. <laughs> After that, it's all guesswork. <laughs> Five, six, two. Uh, medium. medium score. Okay, so far left hand side. There we go. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> We've checked in and we've just spent 10 minutes just going through the map, working out a rough route where I'm going to go. I should have filmed it, but we didn't have time. So we've got our first, first gate on the path. So this should be a little confidence one. <laughs> and then our plan is we're going to head up towards is it kind of fluid or something we're going to head up to the top and try and come round the tops so we've got a bit of a little bit of a plan whether we can execute it it's another matter <laughs> there's the first one get it did don't forget it <laughs> boom found one <laughs> Probably all thinking, why don't you just follow everyone else? The thing is, there's people doing different, different races with different amounts of things they've got to find, so you can't just follow people. So I got the poles out. Now we're heading up there. Right, we've just got to the top of that section. Got to the top of the hill. And look what we see. 
The Dipper. 30 pointer. Woo woo! Get it dipped. <laughs> right, Dave. Bang. Boom, that's two down. Right, let's take a lot. Before we head anywhere else, let's take a bearing for the next one. So we're going to stay along this flat section here. We can see it. Yeah. And as it starts, this is the spur, so it sticks out like a, a lump. Yeah. And then as it starts to go steeper, we'll move to the right. Right, take a bearing. We'll see you on route to the next one. While we've got a relatively flat bit, Andy, what would pull you to want to do this? Oh, challenge. <laughs> it's all about the challenge. <laughs> Challenging yeah. and inspiring people. That's what's keeping us going. <laughs> I love it. So he only asked me about a week and a half ago. He said to a fancy doing this event. I didn't even know what it was. But I'm so glad we've done it. The weather's great today. As you can see behind us, we've got a cloud on the tops. But it's pretty good. It's looking a little bit grim tomorrow. This is our next point. You can see it. Silhouetted in the sun there. Just around from the summit behind. Luckily, it's just off the path, so we should find this one. Must admit, it's nice to have a little bit of flat ground, and just in front of us, we spot our next point. It's a big old 40 pointer as well. That's our one there, DP40. <laughs> right. You're, you're dibbing this and not NFCing it from your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Just having a little, little gel, just to make sure I'm replacing all my electrolytes and things, which hopefully should be handy racing away. We have got to stay quite close together though, because he's got the, he's got a tag and I've got a tag, and they, they measure how far apart you are. Wind's coming in now. Luckily, I can see the point ahead. There's a little congregation of people, and certainly, I think after this is going to be the most challenging bit because the weather's setting in, and this is the bit where. We really need to work on our navigation because there's choices for this next one. You don't open it up. Oh, the sun there, beautiful. There you go, I stopped filming then, but then we've just seen the point down here. See, Jane. It be. So we're up here now. The finish is over here. So this is our question now, do we go for here? Come down, so let's have a little chat together and I'll let you know what we decide. All right, so this next one, a bit, a little bit controversial, bit of a bit of a lover's death here. I think Chris is a little bit worried that the ground's gonna be a bit boggy, but I've been in this area before and it's not too bad. I say now, <laughs> watch this face might not turn out to be like that. We're getting to the top of this kind of little ridge thing here, if you can see it. We'll flip, we'll come. And this next point down here is the one that I think we should skip. <laughs> and he's all for it though. <laughs> well, well, I think Andy found the bog. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I've been in this area before and it's not too bad. <laughs> this is why I think this was a bad idea. This if we look, we must be here now. We must be out here, right? We must be about this point here where my compass is. Cock on my See, compass. We've gone, we've, we've gone past, we've gone past the um, main, main park. Yeah, look how far away it is. There's Andy up there. We're probably right to come and get this one. Yeah, Need Andy to come and dip it. BH. So I'll show you where we are on the map. Started here. That's our first one. We've tagged up here. We've come up here. Here. BH40. And I think our plan after this is to get back to this path. But we're going to skip all these. 
I think we come to BV here. It's on a null, so that we should be able to find that. But it, it, it's how we get down from there because this is an uncrossable boundary. It says. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uncrossable boundary. So we get we can't come down here, but we don't want to come round this because this looks awful. So so I'm gonna put the camera away and we'll work out a plan. Right, bit of a reality check. I'm struggling with cramp. Terribly. So I've just had some of my top performance drink. Basically a powder to put in water. So I'll just put it in there, give it a shake. Placebo or not, I feel a bit more energised, but I'm just hoping it replaces some fluids because same struggle with cramp. Yeah, it's cold up here now. My body's all nice. I've had my gloves on for ages. I don't know how Andy's lasted so long without his gloves on. <laughs> but now we've got a little bit of a climb to the summit or maybe skirt around it a little bit and then a long, long stretch. The only point you can cross down here is is here, this little, uh, this section. And originally we were going to come down further here, so we're stuck a little bit. And all this looks very craggy. But we'll see how we go. We're at the top, the highest summit, the highest point of the day. Can do it at 1,600 meters. It's on our map, even though it's not just pointing, it's a little black dot right in front of my finger. And this is the Cambrian Way, which we're following next to come down to these points. Lots more people now. Luckily, Andy has to stand in the shit for that one. There you go. <laughs> so that's where we've just been, BV. We're heading to AO. Not an easy one to find, but it is on a spur. Managed to top up some water. Found a little bit of flowing water there, which is nice. And now the view opens up a little bit in front. It's just so slippy. I've gone on my ass about four times. So is Andy. A lovely chap just give me a packet of um, electrolyte sachet, which I've just nicked because I can't get mine out of the bag. So that went down a tree. I feel much better now. Legs feel a bit better. I feel like I've just moaned all the way through this, so <laughs> I do apologise. I'm enjoying it. I just feel a bit of a letdown with my legs today. Brandy. Well, our next descent is starting. Oh, it's nice to have a little jog day. Warm those quads up. We found another one. Awesome. So we do need to get down to this road, but we can't go straight down. We've probably got to come over all this. So I think we walk down towards that building yeah. and then we, we it's a level, it should be a level all the way around to the to the gate. Yep. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, what we're not doing is going for BB50. That's a, yeah, and it's just a long way around. Right, Andy, come straight down this dip here, look. Straight down the dip, to the cross the lake, and jump over. I have to say, proud of us, we've hit every point that we've gone for so far. I have got to confess, it does help because there's so many people doing this, doing this same course. Um, you know, how many would we find so much if there was nobody else here? Um, but we are using the maps. We are navigating properly. 
no cheating. Most people are taking a path round, which is a bit higher, but we're trying to take the direct route just to save a little bit of time. We've got an hour and 40 left. <laughs> We've got to get to the finish line for six o'clock. We can't be late. Every minute, every 30 seconds counts. So I think the idea is we're going to get down here, get down to the road, skip one of them, and get some road walking in to catch up a little bit of time and a little bit easier on our legs. And then when we get it, oh, yes, right on camera, you bastard. <laughs> Wet ass. <laughs> um, when we uh, when we get to, close towards the camp, there's a few that are behind the camp as well, which we're going to go for. Right, I'm putting this camera away. I'm going to break my bleeding neck. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. <laughs> All right, underneath here. Oh, man, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, man alive. <laughs> <laughs> Got an army of salt <laughs> How elegant. Yeah, stay over there. Right. I've not filmed properly for a little bit until we got to that, but uh, a little bit further back, we saw loads of competitors going over a gate. Going, everyone was going over that way, and it's so tempting to follow. But when we realised, I think they're doing a different course. So we've come along this wall. Not many people come in this way. Uh, and our crossing point, so we're not out of bounds, is up here. But look at the state of this. This is a burner. Yep, yep, this is it. Yes. This is the crossing point. Live wire on here as well. Just need, I just need one minute with my leg. So if you can see the map, this is where we just come through here and now we've got to come down. There's like a settlement, which we can see. We've got to come down there and then we've got to make our way over this net crossing onto the road. This is the finishing point. So we're going to come along the road towards the finish and then we're going to start getting up here and getting to these bits. I've not done much filming down here because it is so boggy and slippy. I've slipped so many times on my arse. Andy slipped. He actually got some air. <laughs> Ooh, nearly went again. It gets to the stage where you've got that much mud on your shoes. You've got no grip. Right, let's have a look. Definitely, definitely over to the left. Right, so we've got the path down all the way to the road. And then we're going to do some jogging, all being well with my legs, along the road, which takes us back to, I'd say the final destination, but it's not necessarily our final destination. It'll take us back to the campsite and we should be coming alongside the campsite. Um, and then we need to decide, have we got enough time to go and tag some others behind it, but we can't be late. Now I've got the jog down the road. I'm already getting cramp in the calves. We'll see how we go. Still on the road. Trying to run in spurts. Difficult. The story today has been cramp. Quads. Uh, well, my, yeah, my quads. My front of my legs, back of my legs, the top of my legs, back of my legs, feet. I even got it in my chest as well, so what's all that about? 
fair, I've only had 600 ml of water today. Not enough. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to have loads of electrolytes. Having before it set off, every hour, I should keep having them. Here's me talking about tagging other points. I'm going to do well to get back to the finish on time. Should make it. Andy smashed it. <laughs> we could be a little bit late. 5.45, so we've got 15 minutes to get to the finish, which we will make. That's the finish there, so we will make it on time. Lovely. Hitch. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Were you? That's all right, Tad. I was expecting it to be sloped, boggy. Yeah. Really crap, so... But considering, actually, considering, right, and this is my, my and Andy's first one doing these, and we've walked, you know, we've hiked and we've jogged a little bit. I said we would have gone quicker if my legs were all right. But if I show you how many tents are down there, I think we've done all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really well. I mean, we're on time, but I, I reckon a lot of people must be late then because... There's over, there's over 500 people, I think, just in our... No, no, I don't 200 and... Was it, yeah. yeah. I think there's 200 in the... in the, We're in the in medium score. Um, but I say, we've seen people heading up for like, there's a 20 pointer up there. And if they're late, they'll lose points. At least we haven't lost any points. Well, unless we went off course before. I, I don't think we did, though. I think we were all right. There we go. Jog my way home. There's a finish. Do all this again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we're going to get a brand new map, brand new location. I'm guessing it's going to be around the glitters. Um, and it's five hours tomorrow. Today was six. Five hours tomorrow. You didn't. You nearly missed that last point. <laughs> Cheers. Come on, Andy. Yeah, well done, mate. Okay, smashed well it. Well done, mate. Smashed it. Oh. I think we can both say, though, we've we got more points than we expected to get. Yeah. And we weren't late, so we've not lost any as well. Really pleased. Right, let's get checked in. Set the tent up. There we go. Look at the view. Right. And so this is our score. Now we've scored 210 points, penalty points, zero. Yes, we're all right. And it says, you are currently first out of one <laughs> on medium score in male, and the current leader, 210 on medium score male. So basically that must mean for our age group, not whether they're old, but for our age group, uh, we're the first to finish. So we've set the standard of 210. I just stood with us on 100, so... We're the ones to be. <laughs> in our, you know what? I think we should, and I think we should look at that on our age, we'll see where we're coming our age group because that's important as well. All these fucking whippersnappers here, these young people. <laughs> but yeah, so now to find a flat pitch. View is awesome. We've got our nice spot in the corner here. And this is where I'm going to pitch. So I'm going to do a lazy one on this one. <laughs> Let's cover it and let's just do a nice quick setup. There we go. But twinnies, two X mids, two X mid one P solids. Great lightweight backpacking tent. I could have done with an extra, extra guy line. I usually bring one, but I forgot it. An extra guy line to kick this out, but we should be all right. It's not going anywhere. Right, I'm going to run you through the setup. Got my water bottle. There's my food for later. I brought the X boil today, so I'm using alcohol. I've got two really good meals. I've got um, spaghetti bolognese, a thousand calories, exhibition foods, and scrambled egg with cheese tomorrow, and that's 800 calories. And again, a big, big thank you to the Fell store. As I said before, they really looked after us for this, and they give me and Andy all our food, our gels, our uh, rehydration things. So really, really big help. Thank you very much for that. And they've offered us a 10% code for, for all our viewers. I think I mentioned that earlier. I'll stick that on the screen. So if you just enter that code, 10% off store-wide apart from the sale items. It's not an affiliate scheme. We don't get any kickback from that. But you get 10% and it's just a great place to get all your food. Family company as well. So do try and support them. Got everything in my bag there. I've got a little, um, little footprint to put on my shizzle. And in the tent, very simple. I've got my Ice Flame quilt. This is a quilt they sent me a, about a year ago. It's absolutely fantastic. I ummed and hard weather to bring it. So glad I did. 
toasty warm tonight. I've got my Trekology a Luft pillow, Thermarest X Therm, so that'll be lovely and warm. Nice high R value on that. And just my chisel in the corner with my chargers, head torch. Got a little collapsible cup I'm going to take now to get to get a little bit of a drink. And that's basically it. Andy's going to kill me because I've lost that piece of paper from before as well. He's just asked for it and I can't find it. So, yeah, oops. I'll see if we can get another one. But we're going to head over to the tent over there and see what's going on. I'm really hoping they sell some food and some snacks because I've hardly got any for tomorrow. This is all I've got left. Um, I've got like an two, two energy bars, one gel and some Haribo. And after today, I know that's not enough. So... I'm really hoping they have something, fingers crossed. So let's buckle down the hatchet, buckle down the uh, tent. And I'll go and up, head over, find Andy. And let's see what's going on over there. You can see as well, it's filling up now. This field is going to be full later. You see all the competitors coming in. Everyone's got different times, so people have different start times. Some people are doing longer, longer courses, small courses. So, yeah, I don't know really know how people are doing. If anyone's late, they're going to be losing points. So, I'm really happy we got 210. Andy would love to tell his views about that, but I've lost a piece of paper. So, let's see if we can get another one. Here he is. I'm going to watch Andy's face when I say, Andy, I can't find that piece of paper. We'll have to see if we can get another one. Yes, yeah, so I know. That's all right. Right, should we go over to the yeah. tent and see what's going on? Yeah. Oh, Right, bit of an update. We've just walked over there. There isn't anything. It's only toilets. What I realised I've done is I had a bag full of energy bars and things. That was for today. And I had another bag, which was for tomorrow with all my stuff in. I had my recovery um, sachets in, all my electrolytes. I had um, energy bars, things like that. Forgot it. Can't have any snacks tonight. And also got for tomorrow with some Haribo, one Trek bar. I think I've got one other little bar, no electrolytes. I'll have another look when I get in now, but I really don't think they're there, so I'm absolutely gutted. I've obviously lifted things out of my bag today, uh, this morning in the car, and it must have fell out. So anyway, at least I've got a meal for tonight and a meal in the morning. <laughs> just bowl a load of water now, got my fuel, just made a coffee, got two sachets of coffee, got no milk. I know I shouldn't do, but I'm eating my emergency meal. You're supposed to have a meal ready, <laughs> saved till the end. Um, now, my emergency meal was my jeweled... Schwarmer. Now this is a Feldstore special, that's one they, they, they make. But because it's lightweight, I thought, oh, I'll use that as my um, as my emergency food. But I've decided it's only like quarter to four. We've got a long night tonight, the clocks go back an hour, so I've just eaten it. <laughs> the only downside to this is you can't cook it in a bag, so you need to put it in your pot, or like I did, I brought a Ziploc bag, emptied it into the Ziploc bag. Um, obviously a Ziploc that can take hot water. Rehydrated it, and it was absolutely banging. Really, really liked it. It's couscous, authentic flavour, um, packed spice couscous with a kick, and it did have a little kick. And there's cranberries and whole toasted almonds and sunflower seeds. Honestly, it was absolutely mega. And you only need um, 90 to 110 mils of water. It takes six minutes, it's vegan, if that interests you. And there's 500 calories, it's really good. I'm always my, worried about sugars, so really high carbs, 57 well, per pack, 69 um, carbs, but very low sugar, seven, which is perfect. And it's got your protein, 21 grams. You should be having that in every meal. So, yeah, absolutely banging. Really, really nice. Really enjoyed that. And then later on, I'll be having spag ball, 1,000 calories. As you can hear in the tent, and the weather's coming. Um, I just went to the far side of the tent, far side of the field, because we're right at the back to get some reception on my phone. And then, oh, the heavens open. It's 10 past seven. I've had a, basically after my couscous before, I had my couscous, two hours of sleep. Absolutely amazing. So I've had a lovely sleep, had a little bit of water, had a coffee, and now, thank you to the fell store again, spag ball. 1000 calorie meal. Um, I've just got it in my sleeping bag at the moment, keeping warm. But I'm lovely and toasty and warm. I made the right decision bringing the sleeping bag. It's a fantastic quilt, it's ice flame quilt. I'll try and leave a uh, link to it below so you know what it is, but 
yeah, beautifully toasty. Um, I just, I've got these t-shirts on, but I don't really need them, but I'll keep them on. No socks on, just lovely and warm. So I'm gonna eat this, hopefully get some sleep. And we just found out our start time is 7.45 a.m. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight. Next time this video comes on, it'll be morning. Unless any dramas happen in the night. <laughs> Bid you good night.